Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and I'm here with a special guest. Introduce yourself. Hi everybody, it's Blue Mellow again. It's been forever, but I'm very happy to be back. Yeah, welcome. We've we've uh, not had you around for a while. Today we will be talking about movie soundtracks, one of my favorite things. And um, today we will be discussing our favorites and ones that we thought were worth noting. So, you know, just sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the podcast. Start first. Okay. My first pick was Guardians of the Galaxy. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Because they both just have such solid soundtracks. I mean, mm-hmm. like, they're older songs, but they're really good older songs. Um, do you have a personal favorite song from mm. the soundtrack? Probably Star Lord's introduction song, Come and Get Your Love. Okay. That's probably it. Or Ain't No Mountain High Enough. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. Now, is that the one that's like uh, the one, the first one you mentioned? Is that Come and Get Your Love? Yeah. That yep, I love that song also. That's a good song. So, what do you have? So, for my first pick, um, I had to choose The Phantom of the Opera. I. Okay. I felt like it was just one of those movies that kind of changed how I looked at literature in general, just from a theatrical perspective and from a, um, like, just from a norm, like, just from my own perspective. I just think that it's, it, it was so beautifully arranged and it's, um, it's truly an art that that's when you really get into the artistic form of, of music. Solid choice. Mm -hmm. um i think that my next one was from road to el dorado okay i've never seen that oh my gosh you it you need to see it is it a cartoon it is it's an animated dreamworks movie um from like 2000 somewhere in there Mm -hmm. okay um your favorite song from the soundtrack oh my gosh probably uh El Dorado, like I think it's just called Road to El Dorado, but Elton John does the whole soundtrack and he just, it is solid. Oh, it must be iconic. It's, yes, it's a very solid soundtrack. Like next to Phil Collins, yes. Mm-hmm. I was gonna, I was gonna definitely say Tarzan soundtrack. Came that out. I was too. Because <laughs> he it's so solid. I mean, it's such a solid soundtrack. I mean, name a song that you really didn't like in Tarzan. There really isn't. Yeah, I mean, I everyone was a perfect melody. You know what gets me, though, is that that really isn't my genre, but it was, I don't know if it's the nostalgia or if it was just, they. I just love them from, it just made the movie to me. The movie wouldn't be the movie without them. What's your favorite Tarzan song, speaking, because we kind of just jumped over, but it's fine. So right. what, what's your favorite? Um, As an honorable mention, I would have to say that, Um, so he's, it's the scene where like Tarzan is trying to get fruit and he spearheads fruit into um, Kerjack's head and it makes like a little headdress. I don't remember what song is. Stranger? Never... No, Son of Man. Was it Son of Man? It might have been. Or was it Stranger? No, it wasn't Strangers it wasn't Like Me. Strangers Like Me because that was when I think that was the projection. Song. Yeah. Not yeah. Um, it's something like do yeah it's something i can't remember but it, oh i love that and it's crazy because i'm calling it my favorite but i can't even remember it that's okay song standing out to me so much um i would say you'll be in my heart is a solid oh, as well yes. as two worlds Mm-hmm. yes there's such the melody is just so beautiful i love you'll be in my heart that's one of my favorites this was i don't know if you've seen it but waiting to exhale no and that oh god have you ever heard of it no (laughs) well it's um it's rather urban it's kind of just it was it was a huge hit but it's you know it's more of uh um is it a musical no it's not a musical it's uh it's a it's a movie it just has a lot of songs in it and it's it has some great talent. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Tony Braxton, but yes, Tony Braxton. Um, Aretha Franklin is on the soundtrack. Whitney Houston is also on the soundtrack and in the movie. 
Um, and I fell in love with the soundtrack before I even saw the movie. Oh. Like, I have not seen any musicals. Um, the only one so far, I believe, was The Phantom of the Opera. But the other musical, I think we talked about it, but I don't know if you've seen it or not. Yeah. Um, my one on my list is this is probably obscure, but I'm I'm sure you've had to have either heard of it or seen it or it just kind of fell under the rug, but <laughs> um it's a horror movie called Jennifer's Body. Yes, with um what's her name? Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Mm-hmm. And they have a song in there that's such an earworm, it's irritating, but it's so good. Is Through the Trees. Hmm. That's a solid, also a very solid song. I mean, mm-hmm. if not for the whole tra- soundtrack, because I don't remember any other songs, but that one. <laughs> I, I know the feeling. I have a, a few, a song or two on here that I feel the same way about. I only know like one or two songs. Yeah. Some soundtracks, it's just like that, where I'm like, I love this song. And then they're like, oh, you know, what are the ones you know? And I'm like, I, uh, that's it. Mm hmm one is one that I think is really funny, but like, tell me I'm wrong. Um, the Scooby-Doo movies, specifically Zombie Island and Witch's Ghost, have the best music. Interesting. I, I recall no music from Scooby-Doo except for the theme song, but I can tell you it's probably a, is it a more rocky genre? Yeah, I would say like hard rock or something like that, you know, but yeah. like Hex Girls is great. Um Earth, wind, fire, and air. Earth, wind, fire, and air, huh? Yeah. Um, and then they have one that's from Zombie Island that's called Terror Time that used to scare me as a kid. Yeah. Is. Um, so I have two more on the list. Do we have time? Yep. Okay. So, I, well, te- like I said, technically three because the, the first one um, after Dream Girls is... Frozen 1 and 2 and Frozen 1 you picked um, Frozen I okay so call me basic but you have to understand that I'm a vocalist and so when I hear right like Adina Menzel I just Mm -hmm. I just I'm fascinated with her vocals I mean never mind that it's just it's very very trendy and poppy but it's it's definitely the the vocals for me but Frozen 2 once again Adina Menzel with Into the Unknown it was it was so beautiful. And that that um, little voice that was in the song, too, it just, it made, it was kind of gave me, like, Phantom of the Opera vibes as far as, like, her power and the mystery of it all. Mm-hmm. And then um, my second um, and final, or well, not second, my final choice of soundtracks was um, Aladdin because I've always wanted to sing a whole new world with uh another female um singer and i wanted to perform it live as a tribute okay um i can say that with frozen i thought that um let it go was a really good song regardless of everybody being not into well people were into frozen but there were also a lot of people who were like myself who were like kind of sick of frozen after a while oh well of course naturally no i I, granted it's not a song that i listen to every day or even really at all but i i do pay it homage uh moana also oh yes that okay we need to stop and talk about moana because yes i just realized that i didn't even put that on my list and that is Mm -hmm. such a good soundtrack Mm mm-hmm Really favorite is. song um so call me basic um but basic <laughs> but you're welcome because it, it me, okay it's just, me and my cousin we it's just a thing we used to do when we would link up we would always sing it um together and it's just just the nostalgia okay so you're not even gonna mention shiny no you're not going to mention the best song in that movie? Because, first of all, I've forgotten about it. it was just one oh, of my those. gosh, that's the best one. <laughs> I um, I would have to hear it. You haven't? Oh, my. Again, again. Oh, my it. gosh. Because, granted, I've seen Moana once or twice. 
you know, it's not even my favorite mo- like movie of the Disney movies or anything. It's like it's just got such a good soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Blue Mellow for joining once again. By all means, it was a pleasure having. Or it was a pleasure joining, and I thank you for having. No problem. Um, and be sure to go check out his channel. I will have the link below as well as in the end screen. And yeah, just, you know, have a great day, you guys. See ya. Bye.